solve for x. 3 divided by x minus 7 plus 5 divided by x squared minus 13x plus 42 equals 7 divided by x minus 6. A. x equals negative 18. B. x equals negative 9. C. x equals 9. D. x equals 18. At this moment I encourage you to pause the video and solve it by yourself. Ok, I will solve it now. First I will check when my denominators are 0, because I cannot divide by 0. So I can write when x minus 7 is 0, of course x is 7. Um, second, x minus 6 is 0 when x is 6. And x squared minus 13x plus 42, this is 0. I multiply two numbers to get 42, positive 42, and uh, add two numbers to get negative 13, so those numbers will be negative 6 and negative 7. And that factorization will be true. Uh, okay, so then I multiply two things to get 0, x minus 6 is 0, I write slowly, or x minus 7 is equal to 0, so x is 6 and x is 7, and this is my domain for this question. So x could be domain, x could be anything, any number, any real number, except cannot be 6 and cannot be 7. I can write it like that. X, can, x belongs to real numbers except 6 and 7, because we cannot divide by 0. Now, solving this equation, uh, 3, I'll write it maybe again, 3 over x minus 7 plus, it was 5 over x squared minus 13x plus 42. And that's equal 7 over x minus 6. What I will do, I will multiply all three terms by least common denominator. So I multiply every term by x minus 6, x minus 7. So slowly I will do it here. So I will put 3 over x minus 7 times x minus 6, x minus 7 very slowly, plus that 5 I will write factor 5 over that quadratics I will write straight away factorized x minus 6, that was times x minus 7, from domain I know this. Then this will be, this will be multiplied by x minus 6, x minus 7, and that will be equal 7 over x minus 6 times x minus 6, x minus 7 as well, very slowly I'm showing. Maybe I could write a bit more neatly. Here, x minus 7, this is going because x minus 7 divided by x minus 7 is just 1. The same, 1 will be here, and 1 will be here, and 1 will be here. After that, what will I have? After that, I will have 3 times just x minus 6, plus, in this term, second term is just 5, and this will be equal 7 times x minus 7. So I will multiply out brackets, so 3x minus 18 plus 5 equals 7x minus 49. x is on one side, I will subtract 3x, but put x is on the left, so that would be 40, 4x, 7x minus 3x, 4x, and here will be 49 on left, 49 minus 18 plus 5, that would be 36. So I know that x is 9. My domain is OK, and x is 9, because my domain was just not 6 and not 7 domain. 9 is fine, but my advice is always check. If you have time, always check. Left side, x is 9. So left side of the equation, I substitute 9 here to the beginning of the equation. I substitute 9. So x is 9 will be 3 over 9 minus 7, 3 over 2. 
it was plus 5 over uh, this was 9 so it would be 9 squared minus 13 times 9 plus 42 I'll write it slowly maybe just to make sure 81 minus 117 plus 42 so that will be equals, I will just write down 3 over 2 plus 5 over 81 plus 42, 123 minus 117, so that will be 6. So 3 over 2 plus 5 over 6, I need to have common denominator, 6. That 5 will stay, this times 3. So left side is equal 14 over 6, which is equal 7 over 3. And right side was just 7 divided by x minus 6, so 7 divided by 9 minus 6, 7 divided by 3. I just want to make uh, show you that we get the same left side is equal to right side, left side is equal to right side, for our x equals 9. So x equals 9, I even checked, this is a correct answer. x equals 9, correct answer, so my answer is, is C for this question. I'm planning to create more videos, so do not forget to like and subscribe.